what else? What are some other foods or snacks that we could use to really give our brain a jump start and give it some fuel? Um, I mean, I, I know that uh, so blueberries, I think, I don't know, I think uh, from some of the research I've done, I know that's one of the top ones. I know I read blueberries, I know fish. I don't know if, mm-hmm. you know, what, you, what you've read about fish. I don't know if it's still the healthiest meat there is. Mm-hmm. I'm entirely sure. Yeah, is it still the healthiest meat? Uh, the fatty fish, the fatty fish um, is good for your your brain. It gives it that that protein yeah. that in uh, salmon, sardine. Yeah. Uh, I had halibut the other day. That was super good. Um, any yeah, halibut is was incredible. I where wherever I had it was great. But um, mm-hmm. those types of fish, you know, real fatty fish, that good yeah. for uh, your 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 nutrition and your brain. Yeah. So. Uh, uh, throw in there just then. Um, fish is great but I am a true believer that everything should be in moderation so you can mm. eat you like in my opinion as long yep. as you keep it in small portions and and you create a variety in your diet the fish yep. um, the reason why fatty fish is good for you it depends on what kind of fish you eat and how you prepare them um, but the omega-3 in the fish is yep. and yeah. the omega-6 is what helping your brain and fill it. I'm honestly just gonna say put out some words like I know pineapple, apples. Um I'm trying to think of what else. Right. Uh, I don't know. For me, I feel like when it comes to brain from what yeah, like it's a mixture of the oh and then carrots, but then again I feel like carrots is more I don't know if it's more for eyes, but I just feel like um, blueberries, fish, uh, blueberries, fish, pineapples, apples, and like because of the omega three. I don't like. Uh, I'm sure I'm missing a few, but I know those four. But those are the only four that really jump into my mind based off the research I've done. Because I used to really, uh, you know, kind of would try to study what each one of these would do, and it just it felt like they kept popping up those four things, but. I'm sure they're out they're more out there, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, like the healthy sugars, the the healthy carbs in your fruit, in your vegetables. Yeah. That's great because if we talk about sugar and all the stuff that we put in our coffee, you know, and we're going through a full school day and we gotta study two hours after and stay up late to get that done, those sugary drinks really aren't gonna be our best friend. And they increase inflammation in your brain, they make you more sluggish, more tired. Um, low on energy. So sugar is definitely something that we want to stay away from. And we want to go with something like whole foods or like Patrick said, you know, eat smaller portions of the right foods. Uh, eat like a king in the morning, like a queen in the la- lunch, and then I can be at dinner. Uh, you know, whatever, whatever, however you uh, switch that up, you know, just, just use portions to your advantage. But what else? Like, what gives you guys energy when you realize that you're eating something? Devante, I know you're a busy guy, and you have a lot on your plate. You know, with with your uh, nonprofit and stuff. How do you? What nutrition do you use to get through the day, and and how do you plow through it? Um. So I I noticed that one good thing that helps me in the morning, um, because I'm an early bird. I usually wake up maybe around five uh, a.m. And I, I know what helps me uh, is a nice protein shake. I heard you and uh, I think Lamar mentioned it. Um, but I, I just find that, like, if I drink a nice protein shake uh, in the morning, it really, like, gets me started. It gives me, like, a, a nice boost to my day. Yeah. And it, and it, and it kind of, like, carries me out to, like, if I drink a nice one, like, it'll carry yeah. me out. For like lunchtime, you know what I'm saying? So or around lunchtime, you know, so that's cool. No, it's a good it's a good spot. It's a good thing that you bring up too. And it kind of makes me think about juicing also. When you make protein shakes and you juice natural fruits and vegetables, it's so good. I'm just gonna throw this in there. That's my protein right there, the organic protein from Costco. Everyone go to Costco where they keep the cost low. And this is the good stuff that I like. You know, it it, it really is all up to your preference, but if I know I'm not going to eat really something big in the morning, I take a protein shake or I've already pre-made some juice uh, the week prior on a Sunday, carrots, celery, broccoli, um, stingy nettles is something brand new that I just put into my juice. 
tangerines and apples and then mix it all up into one. And I'll have like an eight to 12 ounce glass of that in the morning. Just, just give my body what I feel like it needs. I feel that like tingly sensation. And I'm like, all right, man, like, what do I got to do? I know I got to get through this day. Let's rock and roll. You know, you got to work out. You got to go to work. You got to uh, eat healthy. You got to do your work. And then you got to study later. And then you got to get to bed and try to do it all over again. Patrick Ma, what are your thoughts? I'd love to hear them. Um, I love the ideas of choosing. Um, unfortunately, my schedule doesn't, doesn't allow me to do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe Justin can come over and choose stuff for me. That'd be great. I'd love to. Uh, but, you know, uh, something that budget friendly would be press juicery if you guys have access to that. It's about $5 a juice and it's pretty, pretty good. So you can drink, you know, one of that a day or, you know, cut it in half and drink for the next day. Um, I do want to caution the viewer at home um, the danger of choosing. Um, you know, Justin mentioned that his juice has a variety of vegetables in addition to the juice because it depends on what you use to juice. It can mm -hmm. have sugar content. Think about it. If you have a whole orange and you eat that, that's a lot of fibers. But yep. if you choose the orange, you maybe get this much juice, right? And you have mm -hmm. to choose five or six oranges in order to get about eight ounces of orange juice. Right. So the vitamin C is fantastic. And there's a little bit of pulps in there if you don't filter them out. But the sugar content is dangerous, especially mm -hmm. for people um, of colors. You know, a lot of my patients are diabetic and, you know, I have to watch my sugar content myself. So juicing is great. Just make sure you juice it with vegetables and give it a little bit of flavor with the oranges, with the apple, but make sure how watching how many are you putting in there just to make it taste good. It would be the purpose of, you know, juicing because the whole idea is for you to get more vitamins and minerals. But if you create giving it all the sugar content, yeah, yeah. that's the best way to go. Right. No. I'm here learning just like everyone else too. I just, I don't like to separate it out. I'll do the celery juice by itself, but the whole thing, I just shake it all up and just call it a day. But Patrick brings up a really good point about affordable diet. And let's switch it up a little bit. What do we say to those people, since this is Brother Be Well and we support boys and young men of color who could be living in a low socioeconomic environment and not be able to afford to eat healthy because it isn't cheap to eat healthy. It's not. So how can we help those at home who don't have that? What, what do we say to them? How do they eat good on a budget? I'm a firm believer on protein because I, since I golf, like I'm, I'm skinny, but I can still drive the ball a good distance and people wonder well you're really skinny and you're small how do you get the ball that far and i i eat a lot of protein i eat a lot of meat and pro i used to do protein shakes i gotta get back on it but i know with the protein shakes all i did was i would get i think i spent like 30 dollars on a big thing of muscle milk and that's what i usually use and then i just use blackberries strawberries and I think blueberries and then filled it up with water. It tastes, it tastes really good. And I drink that in the morning and it's like Devante said, that would get me through most of the day. And I'd go out on the golf course, eat some almonds. And that's, you have that, you spend $30 for the month and maybe you, you can get fruits for cheap. I like the point that you made about almonds. You know, I definitely switched over to almond milk when I use for a cereal or protein shakes or anything, I don't use the dairy or the, the whole milk anymore. But what are your thoughts on other foods to, to eat? You know, if you're not, if you're struggling financially, how do you eat healthy? So I'll, um, I will chime on to Shamar's thoughts because it was a good thought before I pass it back to our youth. Um, for me, eating on a, um, you know, how to eat healthy on a budget is all about where to shop and how to shop. So kudos to Justin. Costco is my place to go. But even Costco get expensive, you know, mm. if you buy a lot of uh, products because everything is in bulk. So everything is in large quantity. You have to make mm. sure you eat everything that you purchase. Um, my favorite place to shop has to be grocery outlet. 
um, it's a fantastic place to go. They have a lot of good quality products. Um, the only thing is you have to watch out for expiration date, which mm -hmm. I do anyway, even if I go to Costco. Um, and my favorite thing to do, or because of my schedule and because of my lifestyle is you cook in bulk. So I don't spend every night making dinner, every morning making breakfast. That's not my style. I make everything for the week. So right now in my fridge, I have breakfast for the rest of the week and dinner for the rest of the week. And then mm. lunch, I'll eat eggs and apples. It's just easy for me. You can certainly decide to switch up and whatnot. Um, mm. But knowing where to shop and where not to get the bargains and get your food and make it in bulk in large quantity, because that's the best way to obtain nutrition without breaking your bank. You know, I mean, I'm in a weird, not in a weird stage, but I, I used to be in the position where I was low socioeconomic. Economy. Yeah. And then after that, you know, now I'm a PA, I do certainly can afford to buy higher quality food, but I still make things in bulk just because of my lifestyle. So, you know, make sure your, your plate is proportionate. You know, you have to have a little bit of carbs, you have to have a decent amount of uh, protein and a lot of fruits and vegetables. And like Shamar said, you can certainly get produce um, at the reduced price at, at places like grocery outlet or Costco. Mm -hmm. um, but knowing what you shop can certainly help you eat healthy. But eating healthy doesn't have to break your bank. Um, I used to yep. work at the house, so I know the drill. You know, eating at work is always so much cheaper than buying stuff on my own. But again, at the end of the day, I feel sluggish because I have a heavy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I had a good thought that just came to me too, but I know Shamar has one really quick. I'm going to bounce it back to you, Shamar, and then I'm going to open it back up. What was your thought? We'd love to hear it. I was just thinking of one, me and my mom were good friends with a lady and her parents on a farm. And we go out there all the we used, well we used to until the pandemic hit, but we would go out there and pick fruits and stuff. But that was part of it. You can you can befriend somebody who who owns a farm. That might be hard to find, but I know the main one is like one thing that can help you mentally and to eat healthy is fishing. Free fish, if you catch if you catch the fish, and depending on what fish you catch, you can the only thing you have to do is clean it yourself. And you get free, healthy fish. Love it. What's your favorite fish to eat that you catch, Shamar? Halibut. Halibut?